Welcome to the Mobi Control video series, and today we'll be enrolling Apple iOS devices. These devices range from iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch. To get an Apple device enrolled into Mobi Control, we need to add an APNS certificate or an Apple Push Notification Service certificate. To do this, we need to go to the All Platforms tab and go to Servers tab. Next, we need to look for Apple Push Notification Service under Global Settings. Click on the wrench, and then we get the iOS APNS Certificate Generator window that would pop up. There are three steps. The first step is to download a certificate signing request. The second step is going to the Apple Push Certificate Portal, and the final step is to upload the .pem file. So let's go about downloading the certificate signing request, or CSR for short. Once we've done that, next we gotta go to the Apple Push Certificate Portal. So once you're in the portal, all you need to do is sign in with an Apple ID and your password. So now you'll see all the APNS certificates that have been created through this account. Here you can also renew, download, or revoke these certificates. Keep in mind that these certificates only last for one year, so you must renew at the end of every year. You always get a pop-up in Mobi Control for when this occurs. If you do not renew this certificate, you'll have to re-enroll your iOS devices again. So let's create our certificate. Let's click the button, create a certificate. And now we have to upload the CSR. Click on the choose file button. You'll find this in your downloads folder. Once you've uploaded it, click on upload. Now we've got a confirmation that we've created the certificate. Now we need to download the PEM file. You'll find the PEM file in your downloads folder. So now we need to go to Mobi Control. So now we are in step three to upload the PEM file. As stated before, this should be in your downloads folder. So just browse to it. And once you've uploaded it, click OK. Now your certificate should be shown here in global settings. And now we can move on to creating an add device rule. So we got to go to the Apple tab and then to the Rules tab. Look for Add Devices in the top left, right click and create Add Devices rule. The pop-up wizard will generate and now we have to add a descriptive name. So we're gonna call it Add iPad Device. Click Next. Now we can choose a method of selecting a destination for the device. We have the manual method or LDAP group membership method. If you need more assistance on this, you can click on the help button. We'll go with manual and click next. Now we need to choose a group. So we're gonna choose the sales devices group and click next. Now we have user authentication options. We can utilize directory services make a password upon enrollment, or no password at all. You'll also notice that there is a checkbox saying use static enrollment challenge. Now this will be used in the Apple configurator. If you need more assistance on what this is, you can click on the help button. We'll click on next. Here we have our DEP enrollment profile. This allows us to configure our DEP upon enrollment. So we have general options and also setup assistant options. So in the general options, we can start up the setup assistant, supervise the device, prevent unenrollment, and allow host pairing. Setup assistant options are the same options you get when you first turn on an iOS device for the first time or after factory reset. Each one of these is a checkbox that's clickable so that the end user will actually see one of these options during the enrollment process. There's also a configure depth button, 
where you can actually configure DEP through here. If you do require more assistance on this, you can click on the help button. We'll just leave it as is and click next. Here we have our terms and conditions. We can enable the terms and conditions by clicking the checkbox. And when you click on the manage button, you can upload your terms and conditions. We'll leave it as, as is and click next. Now we can add a device name. So by default, we have personalized device name, and we also have a checkbox to update the device side name to reflect what we see above. This does require iOS 8 and supervision. For more device names that can be used, or more macros that can be used, just click on the gear and you'll see the list there. Click Next. So now we can select an image to replace the lock screen and the home screen of the device. We can do this for both iPhone and iPad. We'll just leave it as is and click Next. Now we have our summary of everything we've done in the Add Device rule. And we can click on the Advanced button to see a few other options. We'll just click on Finish. And now we'll get a pop-up for the enrollment URL. This is how we go about enrolling a iOS device. You can email enrollment details to end users as well through that button, but we'll just click on close. Next thing we have to do on the device side is put this enrollment URL and go through the steps of enrolling an iOS device. Let's see how this looks on the device side. So here on the iOS device, First thing we have to do is click on Safari. And now we gotta enter the enrollment URL that was found in the web console. Once we finish typing in the URL, now we'll be able to enter the enrollment portal. So first we gotta click on step one and install the profile. Click on done once the profile is installed. Now click on number two for enroll. And now you'll get another pop-up to install another profile. Click on install. Trust. And now Mobi Control Management is on the device. This completes the enrollment process for iOS. Now we'll be getting a pop-up for an app installation. So we're gonna hit the install button. So now we have to sign in to our iTunes account. This way we can actually get our Mobi Control agent on the device. So once we finish signing in, we'll be seeing popping up a couple of icons. One will be our Mobi Control agent, the other two will be the app catalog and the profile catalog. Now we'll launch the Mobi Control app. Click on the OK for the notification. And now you can see that you are connected. So now we can actually go to the web console and actually see this device enrolled. To learn more, please contact a SOTI sales representative.